Welcome back to Bet Racing Nation here on Sports the Night Live. We're looking back on 2013. We're going to also take a, a brief look at Cheltenham 2014 very soon. But let's go back and let's go back to, to, to April. You've already mentioned the, the Grand National, um, so we won't dwell on that too much. Did, did anyone have uh, the winner? Of that race? I wish. I had the other Sue Smith horse, Mr. Oh, Mo oh, <laughs> Mr. No. Moonshine. Who who who's uh, gone back to entry and won uh, as, gone third a second? Third, third in the beach, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. and I and I, I, picked, in that I, as well. I picked that each way on our, on our Saturday show. Um, anything else in, in, in April? I mean obviously um, we before we move on to May and the and the, and the new market stuff, should we move on to, to May or was anything in April that stood out? Uh, April's, April's April's when the the, the jump season sort of Winding down, isn't it? And obviously, you had Sprinter Sacra did the three festivals. Yeah, uh, one that was one at Aintree, do you, one at do you, Very quickly, do you think that last one at um, Punchestown? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think um, it was one too many because it didn't yeah, win? Yeah, I, I think it was, but it, I think Nicky. Uh, Nicky Henderson. Yeah, taken it, I think yeah. he felt that he owed it to the Irish race goers that they yeah. could come and see a superstar. Yeah. Um, and I, I think it was too much, but. He won at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll say this in impressive time on that because there's been a lot of negativity recently about small fields in some of these better races. You know, the all oh, and the, the, the stars aren't coming out for the races. Only because of that did we see Spinter Sacra at three festivals. If it had been running every few weeks throughout December and January, you wouldn't get that. Yeah, very so you've, true. Got to, you've got to balance it out. You know, everyone, so everyone's getting Fair very. Point. We won't debate it. Yeah, right. Fair point. Maybe for a, a future show. Let's, for, let's move the clock forward to, to, to May and obviously the, the, the start of the, the flat season, which you guys. Quite a hard it's few to get same, infused it? it's about. It's not the same because in the day you you had the Doncaster meeting, you had the you had the, the Brocklesby, and it started. You had a start and a finish. That was fantastic. You like that, that, that and now it's close. not, is it? No, yeah. it's I think it starts what it finishes. Is that what you're it saying? I don't know if somebody bets on your yeah. weather all through the winter. It's not really any different. You just move but into you are, the. Okay, so you are backing mediocre, mediocre animals, which it does give them an opportunity to run, I guess. Well, mm. it's, it, it, even now they're trying to do set up the all weather all weather championships. Yeah, yeah. So they're trying mm. to get the good horses on the go. For and big money as well. Good fighting. Obviously, Dawn Approach and Tornado um, in the Guineas. Memories of that? One of the biggest clashes of the season, wasn't it? Yeah. And then uh, Dawn Approach. <coughs> well, it was the most impressive that you've seen Dawn Approach all season. And mm -hmm. from that day on, it was a steady decline. But yeah. it, it was a good match. The Derby run was just. Yeah. Yeah, we're going, we're, we're, we're going yeah. to the Derby in a second. And, and, and Sky Lantern, which gave uh, Richard Hughes and Richard mm -hmm. Hannon their first thousand Guineas. Well, their first, Very it was Richard Hughes' first classic, wasn't it? Yeah. So, oh, good, yeah. 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 It's very impressive. Yeah, and then she went on as well to win a few more group races and then ended up the season in uh, Sha Tin yeah, in yeah. Hong Kong. So, uh, very good filly for, the, for their connections. Yeah, okay, any, any, any more comments on that at all? Uh, I can remember in May going to York and I didn't back a single winner. Right. So it, was a, it was a painful a Normal feeling for you, wasn't it? <laughs> while we're on that Not subject, a single one. <laughs> while, we, while we're on that subject, we've talked about your best moments. This is an opportunity <laughs> for you. And you probably haven't, this one I'm going to throw at you, and otherwise it's live recording of the list. Your worst moment of the year. Anyone, uh, while you're thinking, someone else might come I've in. Already, I've already it, said mine, a Grandway falling a champion hurdle. Right. I there might be a few of yours, Billy, on, on the exchange nearly, market. Very, very nearly yesterday, as I say, which would be December the 18th. Right. And, uh, I was looking this at show, a, For this show, it was going out on the 27th. But, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was looking at a record loss. And just before Christmas, you don't want to lose more money than you've ever <laughs> lost in your life. I had just a terrible day. I don't know why I play at Lingfield, so I never do well at Lingfield. But I, I had one last chance. I'm Farm Govan. And I didn't watch the race. I couldn't bear to. Thankfully, it came in. I think I won £35 on the day. That would have been my worst day Ever. Oh, right. so you didn't have a bad uh, year in, in your yeah. year in general? Uh, it, uh, highs and lows, but I think whenever, especially with National Hunt, whenever you back a horse and it falls, and it, it, there's always that inevitability: will it, won't it get back up, or yeah. will it, it race? It's again? amazing how it can twist as well. Yeah. There's never a better feeling when your horse is beaten in second and the one in front falls over. It doesn't seem to happen oh, so many times. I don't know. I would no. never cheer. I would honestly say I'd never cheer. God, Obviously, no. you, oh, you're well, pleased you go. about so the money. difference of opinion there. I, I, <laughs> you're you're, you're trapped in four. Oh, oh, no, no. 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 I, I'm not a winner anymore. I mean, fall gently. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, fall gently. Slow, or, slow, or slow into a crawl. Or maybe Absolutely in an fun. ideal world, just veer to the right of the, uh, the hurdle. And then, or do a Jane Mangan and I'm Yeah, collide. Absolutely. Just fall off. Just like to mention, one of the biggest losses of the season for me was Little Josh in the... At the well, it was in April at uh, Aintree when he fell over the national fences and sadly broke a leg or yeah. shoulder. And he was just one of the most liked horses in training at the time for. Nice and and let's not forget that aspect as well. Yeah, I mean, exactly. you know, I, I joke apart about picking a winner in the second, but at the same time, 
Yeah. You know, these people get attached to these horses, and there's yeah. many horses this it's year. The heroes that, that we never yeah. really get to meet. But Absolutely. That go out and, and, and yeah. give their all every time. Um, let's, move, let's move it forward, um, the, the memories, to um, Derby and, and the Oaks. And obviously the win of the Derby was Wall of the World and Talent. Um, any any particular memories of the Derby and the Oaks? I think the biggest one of the Derby was, as we mentioned before, Dawn Approach. Yeah, it was like there's the hot thing mm. won't get beat, and then it just pulled all the way. Yeah. Down. It was it was it just was a bit bizarre to watch, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we all probably sat there going, "What's happening?" Yeah, it's it just it didn't. And you knew him running. I mean, if you were connection said it was over after yeah. ten strides. So yeah, but it's quite interesting that um, Ryan Moore rode for O'Brien. Mm. Um, this one, but they're all for Battle of Moringa all the way through, and, and, and Joseph O'Brien didn't pick up, yeah. didn't even get second. No, it's Libertarian came flying yeah, yeah. for second. Mm. Again, that's done nothing since. No, the form's not. And the form's not great. great. So we don't yeah, think the Derby was that great. Well, well story that when when you when before uh, when I first met you and you you gave me a quiz, a test basically, to see if I'd be allowed to come on the show, and one of the questions was who won the Derby this year. And I was absolutely stumped, to be honest. Right. <laughs> well, and the fact that we still talk <laughs> on yeah. means that we, now anyone else can come on the panel good. as well. well. Let's say about Rule of the World with the, the form of the well, the strength of the form. He then went on to where was he in the arc? He was he was up in the field, yeah, and then yeah. he came third in the Champion Stakes by mm. far in Sirius Eglers. I think on any other year he would have won that race. So. Yeah. And then look, very briefly, we had the the, the um, British Champion Series, um, the Falmouth Stakes, where elusive. Kate and, and Sky yeah. Lounge. This one split uh, uh, um, opinions. On the day? Uh, I still think Elusive Kate was the best horse And you of the think day. that Richard yeah. Hughes should have maybe come on the. Yeah, well, on ev everyone knows about Elusive Kate that she, run, that she goes left under pressure, but Richard Hughes still decided to deliver his horse on the left hand side. Yeah. It's, it's hard, we're not jumping Yeah, no, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, that's a bit unfair. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't think you can, you can make allowances. I mean, they appealed like it. Let's remember, they appealed yeah. it and, and lost it. I think it. it was made into yeah. too much of a bigger thing. It, it was made uh, bigger than it was. Definitely. It was ridiculous. For the little me. things excite people always will. Yeah. The little things everyone gets excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, um, we're running out of time, believe it or not. We've got a few more minutes and we've got a few more months. Anything right, else? So Glorious Goodwood, I wanted to talk um, about. Glorious Goodwood, well, yeah, I'll speak about it. Tornado, we talked about that 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 big matchup against Dawn Approach, and this time we went into I watched it from the, um, from the um, Saturday in, the, um, winner's enclosure, so I didn't want to miss that part of it, so I watched the race on the screen, but yeah, great race, and a good day. We, we've missed that like, Royal Ascot, so I have to give a mention to Belgian Bill, who won the Hunt, Hunt Cup. Oh, we can't, we can't, we can't yeah, go and forget we, about Royal, Royal, no. Royal Ascot. I mean, Royal, Royal Command was my memory, and, and, and that horse ran really well, and an estimate we talked about. But Royal Command, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, viewers, but I don't think a single winner has come out of that race. Wow. Right. Except for Royal Command. Well, oh yeah, except for Walker Man. <laughs> <laughs> except for the obvious. Except for Walker Man. Yeah. But yeah. estimate as well for the Queen. Oh, that was fantastic. Mm. I think that's what helps racing so much, get yeah. back into the public eye. Yeah. And Mullins uh, took one there, I think. Yes, yeah, yeah. But let's yeah. not forget with the Queen. Yeah. She was on the front page of every newspaper going, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. And then people were like, what's got her that excited? And then suddenly yeah. it's her horse winning, winning a horse race as they would see it. But yeah, yeah. It does make you wonder one day yeah. what will happen when she's not in yeah. the monarchy. Yeah. Who we're going to have to really promote racing as that. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big monarchist, and that was, it was great to see the public affection and the positive sense. You know, you always get the element of saying, oh, the, the Queen can afford to own a race horse. But, you know, people that know what they're talking about in racing is a fantastic moment to see. You know, she's very knowledgeable, doesn't have oh. many horses, no. you know, hands on, owner, owner breeder type. Fantastic. I remember rushing back, so I was out. I had to get back and watch it. It was the moment as well. It was different, the moment. Let's, yeah. let's move uh, forward very quickly to, to York, and then we had the uh, uh, Jad Monte declaration of war, sort of turning over the form in a way because it had been beat yeah. by horses like Al Kazim and, tra and trading lever um, at Ascot. That was a, a great race, and, and I was on Al Kazim at Ascot. But I was, yeah. But I just feel that you know every horse has its turn, and that turn that time it horses for courses, like I, they say. I, I and declaration think, I think for Ground was just too too fast for it. I think mm. Roger Charlton was correct in what he was saying throughout the season. He just wants a bit of softer ground, mm. and uh, but, well, what I hear from over here, the summer the summer was unrelent or unrelenting. It was just sun every day it, need, it, it needs yeah. yeah we don't complain about it being too warm they're saying that al Kazim did carry on running even in the in the, in the more sort of softer conditions and yeah. I, I think you know the few came on later on in the season didn't it yeah, um, there's no shame in losing to the few and what no, she's done either so. but um, yeah. there was argument to say maybe al Kazim went on for uh, a bit too long but that's another yeah. subject um the st ledger which is a, a, another classic one by my selection leading mm. light talent run a great race in there 
But again, O'Brien, you, you can never, you know, he's even training over the jumps now. But you know, O'Brien, worrying, yeah. Yeah. worrying stuff, doesn't well, he? To be yeah. doing that. Returning to the jumps after Absolutely. Instagram, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I think it's good. It'd be good competition. It's great, it's great to yeah, see. Yeah, someone needs to knock Willie Mullins off his perch. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> it, I think competition's healthy all round, and yeah. uh, when you're a man like him, he can turn his hand to any type oh, of, yeah. you know, look at his children. And before, Fantastic I mean, after rides. the break, we'll we'll, we'll speak about um, your horse of the jump season before we talk briefly about Cheltenham. But as the, as a sort of flat season came to an end, we had the the Racing Post Trophy with Kingston Hill and. Olympic Olympic glory, scatter dice. Mm. <laughs> Billy Hughes Hughes winner, wasn't which, it? Which, dice, yeah. What sort of price which, was it? I, got, I only got hundreds on Betfair. Only hundreds. Only this, only is the, this is a ride of the. This is the oh. a win of the season because I mean this horse was miles yeah. behind. For somebody who loves the big handicap, I mean you immediately know. I mean I did back a few. I didn't just back her to be fair. I backed four, I think. But uh, the minute she came out of the stalls, and you know that that's okay, that one's gone. And to weave through past, I think she passed thirty-five horses. And you know, running on right at the end as well. That's, that's amazing. You think of any other race where a horse passes that many horses to win. What, what a game, little filly. And there's a credit to Mark Johnston, who just gets these horses you know, so tough and they battle. He's and not he's, afraid to run them. He's not he? afraid to run he, them. He's no, one of the few trainers. If you just follow him, he will run his horses six, seven mm. times yeah. in the course and of the season. Through, you know, he'll go through periods of winning races and not winning races, but he's not afraid to run them even well, with, uh, with a penalty. Shocker, come out seven days later and, you, and they'll win. Big price yes, and they'll win something they should have no yeah. right in winning. That's okay. the time to back them. Um, and then we move uh, to the, the start of the uh, jump season. We're going to touch on that very briefly after the break and, and look ahead to some of the feature races at, at Cheltenham in 2014. Um, we have got to look forward to the champion hurdle, the world hurdle and the Cheltenham Gold Cup as well. We'll be back after this very short break.